This video presents a real-time, uncut, unedited, multi-camera filmed Relex Smile procedure using the Carl Zeiss Meditech Visumax femtosecond laser. Sixty years after the pioneering work by José Ignacio Barraquer Moner in developing keratomleusis, Carl Zeiss Meditech have developed an optomechanical femtosecond laser that enables us to perform a keyhole intrastromal form of keratomleusis, which they have called Relex Smile, or small incision lenticule extraction. The Visumax possesses the three-dimensional geometric cutting precision necessary to rival the precision of an Exmer laser, and so provides the advantages of eliminating the need for a corneal flap or the prolonged healing time of surface ablation. The corneal contact glass is vacuum secured to the optical delivery cone aperture. The Visumax coupling contact glass interface is specifically curved to minimize the corneal distortion produced by classical flat applanation. The coupling produces a curvation rather than applanation. Another important feature of the contact glass is that the suction ports are designed to lie on the peripheral cornea instead of the conjunctiva overlying the sclera as in classical suction systems. The combination of curved application and corneal suction means that only very low suction is required to completely immobilize the cornea, therefore minimizing corneal distortion and ensuring accurate 3D cutting within the corneal stroma. The intraocular pressure rise is no greater than 85 millimeters of mercury, by far lower than has been achieved in the past, and low enough that intraocular circulation and the patient's vision is maintained throughout the procedure. Further cutting accuracy is achieved by a built-in confocal calibration system that effectively auto-calibrates the optomechanics to each individual contact glass. In addition, a continuous force feedback servo control mechanism adjusts the bed height to regulate the force of the contact glass on the cornea and keep corneal compression constant during the femtosecond cutting process. The Visumax uses a high numerical aperture focusing system that minimizes spot size and energy levels in order to optimize 3D cutting accuracy and cut surface smoothness. At the moment of contact between the cone and the cornea, the fixation light comes into focus for the patient because the vergence of the fixation LED is adjusted according to the eye's individual refraction. The combination of surgeon coaxial view and patient coaxial fixation results in the ideal of lenticule creation centered about the visual axis. The lower interface of the intrastromal lenticule is created first, followed by the upper interface of the lenticule, known as the cap, and finally a 2 mm tunnel incision that links the cap interface to the corneal surface. Total suction time for a typical treatment is only about 35 seconds and doesn't vary according to prescription level treated because there's always the same cuts, just simply further apart for higher corrections. From the patient's point of view, the most remarkable feature of Relax Smile is that they literally feel nothing from start to finish and the eye emerges white and comfortable after the procedure. The patient is moved to the surgical microscope and the surgeon view through the oculars switches automatically to the second microscope. I like to immobilize the eye during the manual lenticule separation portion of the procedure to have better control over the force that I'm using to separate the surgical planes. Many perform this portion with a single-handed technique. The 2 mm small incision is opened using a surgical instrument specifically designed for Relax Smile by Dr. Ektet Chansu. This is used to delineate first the upper and then the lower edge of the lenticule so that the tissue planes are well defined. The surgeon then flips the instrument to use the other end to separate the two interfaces. The upper interface is generally separated first using a standard lamellar corneal surgical technique of waving the instrument back and forth. I like to separate the entire cap so that the stress forces are distributed evenly across the cap and avoid any asymmetry and cap adhesion at the end of the procedure. 
It is then easy to go under the edge of the lenticule to the lower interface, which is separated using a waving motion as before. I leave a small triangular portion unseparated until the end, opposite the small incision, so that there is a fulcrum to work against when separating the rest of the interface. Once both interfaces have been separated, the lenticule can then be manually extracted. Relex Smile represents an exciting advance in corneal refractive surgery and brings some major benefits. As it is a flapless procedure, the anterior corneal nerve plexus is left effectively untouched, resulting in very little perioperative change in corneal sensation and therefore reduced postoperative dry eye symptoms. In addition, the retention of uncut anterior stroma, the strongest part of the stroma, allows for higher myopic corrections compared to the limits defined by traditional under a flap residual stromal thickness calculations. These advantages, together with the increased accuracy for high corrections and the near-perfect patient experience with the patient feeling nothing, make Relex Smile my procedure of choice for correcting myopia.